Yo, what's up guys? It's Trevor. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create vector mockups for your clothing brand. I know I said this in the last video, but thank you guys for the crazy amount of support lately. If you're new to the channel and you like the information I'm spreading, be sure to subscribe and drop a like on the video if this ends up helping you. If we can get an insane amount of number of likes on this video, I'll be sure to make a mockup pack for you guys. Anyways, let's hop straight into the video. I'm going to say this right off the bat. I know Photoshop isn't vector. However, these like mockups have a vector look to them. So the first step in starting your mockup is finding a similar garment silhouette. So uh, just for this example, I'm going to the brand Absent USA. I'm a big fan of this brand. For this video, I'll be using their monogram mohair knit jacket. All you need is just the front picture. And then with the front, we can easily make it the back. So you guys just want to bring the image straight into your Photoshop document. When I'm actually mocking it up for the tech pack, my canvas size is 7,000 pixels wide by 3,500 tall. And this just leaves enough space for the front and the back of the garment create a new layer pull out the brush tool make sure your color is on black and i usually make my size about 17 pixels and first you just want to do the main lines it's pretty simple all you basically just do is outline the garment some tips if it's like a straight point just click once and then hold shift and click the next point and then you basically just want to do this all the way around if it's something that has a curve for example we'll say like this part of the shoulder you can freehand it that's what i do if you want perfect lines you can use your pen tool but this is just quicker for me and before I continue, I always put a guideline right in the middle of the garment. And this is about centered of the garment. And then you basically just want to do half of the outline because we can just flip it so you don't have to double your workload. So once I'm finished with the main lines, I'll get right back to you guys. So once you guys are done with the main lines, it's actually time to get into the sewing lines and then adding onto the garment. So as you can see, we have a pretty basic outline. Sewing lines can be difficult because sometimes you can't see the sewing lines like on this garment. So you might have to reference past garments or garments that you already have. I'm just going to kind of guess where the sewing lines are at. And for sewing lines, I changed my size to about five. Also keep it black and create it on a new layer. You don't want to have it on the same layer as your bold lines. And for my sewing lines, like anywhere I think it's sewn. So obviously right here, it'll be sewn. I do the same exact thing kind of a trash outline this <laughs> there's got to be an easier way to this than what i do come to my eraser after i draw a bold line and then i just go boop boop and try to space it about evenly it doesn't have to be perfect and that's a sewing line i know there's a, probably a way to make dotted lines that are straight but this just works and it's easier for me so it might be easier for you guys as well just want to do those sewing lines anywhere there will be sewing and that'll just help your manufacturer out So once you guys basically have half of the garment finished, you want to just go to your bold lines and pull out the rectangle tool and highlight to your middle guideline and just hit delete on your keyboard. Do the same with the sewing lines. And then your sewing lines and your bold lines, you want to click the first one and then hold shift, click the next one and then control J and that will duplicate. And then you want to click control T and that should bring out your transform tool right click and flip horizontal basically duplicate the garment and you just move it over to the center guideline you might have to line it up a little bit something like that looks pretty much perfect and then you can ditch your guideline just like that you have a garment vector now if you want to go into more detail you can add stuff like the ribbing down here and i usually do that by just putting on my rectangle tool making a small box choosing about gray as my color fill it in make sure it's behind all your lines do something like that bring it over to have duplicate both of these bring those over so i basically have a long set of ribbing group all of these layers together by just clicking the first one going down to the bottom holding shift and clicking and then click this folder icon that groups your layers together and then just to speed up time i'm just going to click Control e and that'll make it one layer delete stuff that i do not want showing and then i can use these exact same ribbon lines duplicate them and use them for the cuff and then duplicate it once more flip horizontal and bring it to the other side i actually forgot to do this step before i duplicated half of the garment and flipped it so if you <laughs> 
if you do this step before it'll be a lot easier i think they're a little too dark so i'm just gonna lower the opacity and that looks about done the front of the garment simplified with no design and then to do the back it's a lot less work so as long as you already have the front done you just want to group all your layers together so as you can see if i hide the visibility it all goes away i'll just name this front and then you want to click Control j that'll duplicate it now you have an extra layer to mess with and i uncheck this one change this one just to back and you basically just want to delete everything except the outside of the garment or what only shows on the front so the zipper will be gone the car will look a little different but overall the main garment will be exactly the same uncheck the zipper go to my bold lines delete the sewing lines for one half so we only have half of the garment again this just speeds up the process a little bit so now we're back to half a garment i'll bring my guideline into what i think would be the center somewhat somewhat like that and then go to your bold lines and whatever would not appear on the back delete it so the collar would not look like this erase part of the collar the top will still be there but that part would not and you basically just want to change it up a little bit and there's the back of the collar also want to delete this line from the zipper and the next thing is just delete part of the sewing line so obviously the middle zipper sewing line will be gone and i'm just going to fix up this sewing line up here it's a little rough so bring back out the paintbrush and move your size down to five and make those sewing lines by just erasing down here i can somewhat try and fix it up it might look a little off but nothing that'll be garment changing i'm gonna fix up the waistband real quick now that you're back at half of the garment again the exact same thing so click all your layers Control j to duplicate Control t to transform right click flip horizontal and then you can move your guideline out the way there is the back of the garment finished then if we bring back the front move the back over here front over here and there's the front and the back of your mock-up now it's for the part where you can actually have fun let's say i wanted to add a pocket in the front bring out my paintbrush make it a main line because a pocket will be a bold line now if we wanted to add a pocket we can find a similar garment that has a pocket that we like bring it into photoshop and try and resize it to about what the previous garment was in the background that looks good and go back to your bold lines layer outline the pocket i'll be doing this pocket as well just for more demonstration and we can do the sewing lines as well for the pocket you can add a button too if you'd like about your elliptical tool then we can uncheck this layer and we got a pocket we got two pockets actually and if i want to reflect it because obviously this bottom pocket i definitely want on the other side you can duplicate it again Control t right click flip horizontal as you can see we got two pockets now at the top and then we have two bottom pockets that go into the garment and with the pockets you guys can obviously change them to any shape you want just for this example i'm just copying the exact pockets marker did with absent but you can obviously create any shape pocket that you would like if you guys want to color it create a new layer outline the garment i use the pen tool for this step once it's outlined fill path and color and it looks pretty rough right now but once we add shadows it'll look a lot better first shadow we'll do right here now this doesn't have to be a shadow it can actually be just a different color because it's the inside of the jacket right click fill path we'll do color again and just make it like a darker brown just like that or it looks a little better we can do the exact same thing for the pockets and we're getting some shadows and depth to the garment the exact same process just figure out what parts would be dark or what parts you want a different color isolate them fill path again color and that's basically about it copy and paste main layer straight over to the back just like that we have a finished mock-up of our garment then you can obviously add your design change the color if you'd like if you guys like this video or it helped you in any way be sure to subscribe also like the video if you guys use this video to make your own garments send me a picture on instagram my instagram is in the description below also go follow my clothing brand instagram i have a lot of cut and sewn collections coming out very soon anyways hope you guys have a good rest of your day this has been trevor and i'm out peace